Details tonight. In the battle against synthetic drugs, retailers face a new deadline. Stop selling the drugs known as K2 and Spice or face the wrath of law enforcement. It's a story we first detailed today at theindychannel.com. Our TV6 reporter Rafael Sanchez is live outside our Monument Circle studio with the latest. Rafael? Erica, good evening. Just learned that undercover Metro police officers will begin hand delivering these notices from the Marion County Prosecutor's Office warning retailers not to sell any synthetic drugs of any kind. New at 5 o'clock, the plan to deal with an ongoing problem. These drugs on display can generate big bucks at any local convenience store. Spice or K2 can usually bring in as much as $50 a packet. Under current state law, they're illegal to sell. But makers of the drugs have in many cases repackaged their merchandise with different but similar chemicals meant to evade law enforcement. Authorities are ready to respond. That if they're putting this stuff on their, their shelves, that they're on notice that this product has no legitimate purpose. The Marion County prosecutor teamed up with the state's attorney general to push back on what they say is a growing problem. The prosecutor is giving retailers in Marion County seven days to turn over any illegal inventory to avoid legal action. The attorney general is asking store owners statewide to be in compliance. Those caught selling synthetic drugs could lose their license to do business for a year. It's meant to send a very strong message to businesses who continue uh, to sell synthetic drugs despite the recent statute uh, and the known risks to the public. The drugs have led to increased reports to the Poison Control Center. Health officials say treating victims has become more difficult. The normal drugs that we would use to sedate them were just not working. We had to use it very, very high doses. Um, we had to use drugs that we don't normally tend to use. And lawmakers say they may toughen existing laws if necessary when they reconvene in January. And I checked in with the Trade Association, which represents the convenience stores statewide, and the spokesman tells me that he embraces, the group embraces, the effort that is now underway. Erica? Rafael, any numbers on how many people have used these synthetic drugs? Yeah, we were kind of curious on, on, on that issue, Erica, so we checked out the Poison Control Center. And look at the numbers that they gave us today as, as part of this. Poison Control reports that since 2010, it has handled 560 reports of spice and K2. And since 2011, 648 calls involving bath salts alone. So it's a problem that health officials really want to get a handle on, and they believe that today may start that uh, journey. All right, Rafael Sanchez reporting live downtown. Thanks.